Welcome to this edition of Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis, your host. Let me get right to today's uh, uh, demonstration about Crystal Reports. So I already have uh, Crystal Reports open here, and I have a connection to SAP Business One already started. Uh, so I want to show you all of the different ways that you can access the data in Business One and try to do it in a short period of time to uh, kind of introduce each concept. Now, one of the very easiest ways, perhaps the easiest way of all to get access to the data is uh, once you have a connection to the database, and we've gone over that many, many times, uh, and you may see it again today, uh, but once there is a connection and I have a connection to my database, you see a little plus sign next to my database, I can click on that plus sign and expand the uh, connection. There we are. It says no items found. That's not good. Uh, maybe I should try to uh, refresh it here. Let's do that and see if it just timed out. So I'm going to close Crystal Reports and reopen it. There we are, Crystal Reports. So here is how you get that basic connection one more time. Is I'm just going to choose a blank report, and I'm going to uh, create a new connection for SAP Business One. Now, I'm using a newer version of uh, Crystal Reports where instead of having the license server in this position, now we have the SLD server, so it doesn't need the extension for uh, the port number for the license server like it has for the past number of years, um, just the name of the server. And there is my demo database, and all I need is my username in Business One and my uh, password from Business One. And we'll see if we can get a connection that's live and working. Here we are for that. There we are. So it did just time out. So what I can do uh, initially is I can go to a couple of things, uh, but I'm going to show you this method. The DBO section in the tree stands for database objects, and I'm going to click on tables. And you may know that there's about 1,500 plus tables in Business One. Uh, for our example, I'm going to look for about three of them. You can just click anywhere in the list and then type a table name. I just typed OCRD and it found it. So I have the OCRD table, which is my business partner's master data table. I also want uh, OSLP, and it found that one for me. 